Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be learning how to make a Luffy and this is going to be a smooth and short video about the burst character, like Luffy burst. All right, if you guys wanted to make a burst of anything else, like for Zoro, any other character, if you guys wanted to make, this is a way I do. And I'll say this is a basic model, all right? Nothing fancy or nothing like uh, hard to be working with. Mostly I have worked with the entire character, you can say in just two or three spheres. As you can see, I'm just making a face right now. So I will be pushing the mesh more out for the uh, neck and the chest area. Then from the chest, I will be extracting for the jacket. Then I'll be having two cylinders for the teeth, one sphere for the hair, one sphere for the hat. That's it. As you can guys see here, I'm just manipulating the mesh for the the way I wanted it to be in a face. All right. So you guys can see here. And I must say, uh, stylus characters are way easier than uh, anime. But once you get the hang of uh, anime characters, it's quite easy actually. You guys can do it. If you guys have an experience uh, like in uh, stylized or in the semi-real steak or something like that, you guys can do it way too easy. The hardest part to get grasp on, like uh, you don't know a way to get the mesh, actual mesh should be going out, you know. You can see this guy doesn't have the visible cheekbone, right? But you guys can give it. And I'll suggest one thing, never ever add um, real stick details on your character. Know what I mean? Don't find cheekbones, don't find forehead should be this big. Anime character doesn't bother like with that things. You can see. Now whenever you guys are working on lips or nose, you guys need to see from the top view. Since you guys are not having any, any like uh, other sub tools, you guys are working with the same sphere, then you should you can hide the top side or the bottom side. You can work with that. Now I'm just adjusting the size of the for like head, but doesn't need since he's gonna be having hair and the hat. Now you can see I didn't mask the front face. You should mask whenever you're working with the, the big size of the brush, big radius of the brush. So you guys need to mask. All right, then just give a basic shape. Since I was just making a bust, so I didn't want to like add any other uh, spheres to work with. The funny part of the anime, which I find it is like they don't have anything realistic with the faces, but they add more details on their body, body parts. You know, as you can see in Luffy, it has a, like chest area is quite fine detailed, even the neck. But if, when you come to the face, it doesn't have any details like that. You, you guys can remove his scar on left cheek and remove his hair and if you add the same face um, same on, on same face you can add different hair or different mark you guys can see it can be a Sanji it can be a, a Zoro it can be any other character that's quite disturbing for me And next video I will be posting is going to be about uh, anime. One more character I want to post. Like I want to be making anime characters more or I'll be making some um, superheroes like Marvel or DC or superheroes in actual movies. I'll be making style, like stylized model of that actors. Alright. Or I'll be... I was thinking to make... Uh, more like a full character 
All right. I have some concepts in my mind to work on, but let's see. Since um, I'm focusing on the newbies who want to learn ZBrush, I don't want to like make it hard to them, like to understand how ZBrush work for them. So let's see. If you guys want to have any, like if you guys have any model or like any concept in your mind, just let me know if I can do it. Definitely. I'm going to do that. And some of the comments I find like they need to learn something about masking or like Z modeler guys. I am working on it soon. It will be out there. So just hang out for a while. All right, here I'm just pulling some air. Since you guys have to work like with the same set, like a sphere or same mesh for entire face, I'll suggest keep your Z remesher close by. You don't need to go again in geometry, Z remesher, same Z remesher, whatever you guys are what, like doing over there. I'll suggest you to keep it close by so you guys can work on easily. You know what I mean? As I have kept on my top bar, uh, Z remesher, half, same, dynamesh, extract, all those things. You guys can keep that same way or like whatever you guys are working with. If someone is interested in my UI, I can share it with you guys. Just let me know. And as for the teeth goes, you guys know I work with the cylinder for the teeth since uh, stylized or the anime character, it looks best. If it goes for the real stick then or semi real stick, then it should be um, hand model the teeth. All right, then yeah, height, same thing, which I have explained to you guys in previous videos. If you guys like are new here, what I do here is just uh, take cylinder, hide the cylinder, like top and bottom part, then delete them, then extrude with the Z modeler, select the uh, hover on the face and go a space bar, hit the space bar and you will be having the options in that you will see extract and for the extrude, you can have multiple options. Click on if you guys are working on a full, if you guys want to extrude full thing, keep on all polygons. Sorry, all poly group or just hit on one face. It will be good. And for the for the thing, I just uh, had one sphere and just squeeze it, give it a place, paint it. That's it. Now, guys, I have told you so many times if you don't go for subdivisions way too high since I need an eyebrows and I am going to be adding some details on the face. So that's why I need it. Subdivisions in early stage. If you guys are working just for the shape, all right, don't add multiple subdivisions. Go with the first. It will be more than enough. All right. If you guys are done with your like um, base, what I mean is uh, like if you're done with the shape of the face, then add a subdivisions on that you can work with it all right why am i saying don't add in early stage because if you add a subdivisions in early stage you won't be able to work with it smoothly now for the hat i just did i add the one uh, sphere then i cut with the control shift and knife rectangle all right then i went to Z modeler hover on edge you can see I polygroup the edges bottom faces then go for the island and extrude them all right and you can see if you have anything to work on like uh, anytime you guys want to work with 
a reshape here or something if you guys have to do it do it and here what i tried here i just tried to uh, chisel brush but uh, since your like same like what do you say mesh is not in the same direction for the chisel brush is going then it doesn't work that well all right what I did here, I just have to add a scar, so I just mask that and unmask, which I don't want. And then I went to deformation and inflate negative. All right. Then go in the polish area, just do it, then smooth it out. That's it. All right. Then what I do here is like uh, with the slash three, I just give a muscle like look type, right? Then I added here a little bit more details for the chest area. Then uh, you can. Take your pinch brush, then pinch areas, then it will look much better. All right. Then add a little bit of details here and there. Okay, guys. If you wanted to go higher subdivisions for some reason, you can go, but never delete your lower subdivisions since you're not done with the final like shape or anything like that if you guys are done with the final position like a final output of the face then it's good you can go to the subdivisions as much as you want since if you're not done with that keep your lower subdivisions always active like i mean keep it don't delete them now i'm just placing the um, teeth here and there to look to find the best spot now i just need to pull these some like lips all right then give some details now i want to close this but uh, since i have subdivisions i won't be able to do it so what i did here i just left it then i'll be working that once i'm done with the complete model itself all right you can do we can do with the two like options if you're working in a lower subdivisions you can go and with the z modeler you can stitch them with the vertex right if you are working on a higher subdivisions you can have uh, uh, close holes from uh, geometry uh, modified topology and there is a close uh, close hole option is there you can use that all right and again i tried this chisel brush here it doesn't work so i wanted to paint with the um, slash three all right that didn't work either so i just made it then I paint it on. Now what I needed to add in hair here, so I tried this brush, then I thought like it, this is a quite tricky brush to work with, so I thought no, I'll be working with the normal sphere technique, which you guys already knew. So what I did here, I just went to make with the sphere, then I lost some video, like I lost some footage here. So I'm sorry for that. Then I went to the hat to work on hat. Now you guys can do here, go to dyna uh, dynamic subdivs, active it, then you can see there is an option for the micro poly on. Click on that, then you will be able to work on that, all right? As you can see, I am working on it now. Since if you have, like, if you have uh, more, like, uh, faces, it will be much, like, smooth to work with, all right? If you guys don't have that faces, it will be very big. Some places it will be way too big and some places it will, it will be way too small. So keep it that in mind. All right. Since I'm not like I wanted to make detailed ones. So I just went with these small details here and there. That's it. Now I wanted to paint the eye with the like standard brush. Keep your RGB on Z at Z sub should be off. All right since i didn't paint on the so like i didn't paint with the symmetry on so i trace the that eye with the symmetry on once i have done the one side of it right then i smooth it out with the corners All right then i wanted to paint the pupil so that's how i did it all right then 
all right once i'm done with that uh, once i'm done with the paint completely what i did i went to the uh, merge visible to get all of them in one sub tool all right so i can reshape if i wanted to right now i wanted to reshape a little bit here and there now once i did that uh, merge visible i lost the uh, nano nano mesh right so i what i did here i just separated those all of those like sub tools then again i work on it all right if you guys don't want to face this problem you guys can work at the beginning itself all right then you guys can apply it with the dynamic sub tools if you apply it, the even uh, micro poly on which will be applying itself also all right since i'm done with that i'll be doing here then that's it guys if you like this video do please like my videos and comment whatever you guys want me to make a next and please do share this videos and hit like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon and what i'm doing here i'm just uh, slashing all the all the parts all right so just making a square shape all right then what i needed to i need to make a base for base what i use it is like a cylinder all right so with the cylinder i just keep in the middle and with the bottom face the bottom faces here what i did i did screw like extrude them at the lower all right then i extruded this in the wider area like that then you can select the those edges and like scale them in all right then with the z modular brush insert edge you can add some more details all right you will see here something is wrong with my recorder so i keep lost like losing some data all right so i'm sorry for that now I just wanted to paint the extruded ones all right since extruded ones and the bottom are the same poly group right i want to like separate them now i did that then i can paint the golden color for the the plate and the